imagine being the new kid. You're not able to find your way around. You don't know where the gym is and every face you see is a stranger's. Good afternoon, judges, guests, and leaders of Timor. Today, I'll be telling you about those who glitter may not always be gold. I can feel my heart thumping in my chest, not just from excitement, but also from desperately trying to follow my mom's advice, which is you need to talk to people. You need to make friends. Then one day as I was walking to class, there I saw a group of girls that caught my eye. They looked like they had just walked out of a magazine. They had these huge bows in their hair. They wore branded clothes like the ones in a jean magazine. And every step they took, their shoes would light up. They even walked in that confident way as if they were the center of the universe. And to my shock, they approached me and asked if I wanted to hang out with them, be their friend. I was so shocked. I didn't know what to say, but I'm sure I said yes, because with them at my side, I never have to feel like the new kid again. Sounds like a dream come true, right? It's almost like getting a Taylor Swift heiress tour ticket. But sometimes the price is not always as you see. It was a while before they wanted me to pay for the membership. The price being a playful prank. I had to smear shaving cream on a close bread. I felt trapped. I didn't know what to do. But I didn't want to be known as that new kid who chickened out, so I did it. The girls from the cool club were there watching, giggling all over. But as the laughter faded into the background, my stomach started twisting into knots, realizing what I had just done. With shaving cream on her face and hair, my friend looked at me with eyes full of sadness and betrayal. It wasn't the fact that I had done it, but it was also the fact that I had embarrassed her in front of everybody. After the shaving cream fiasco, I quickly realized that being part of this cool club meant doing things I wasn't cool with, which got me thinking, what's the big deal about being cool anyways? It's like everybody wants to be the star of their own show, but sometimes to be that star, you have to wear a costume that's not really you. After a while, I did something, a lot of it actually, and I realized a couple of really important lessons. First off, the latest hair accessories or the trendiest shoes may look cool, but they don't exactly make someone popular. Being popular is having friends who like you for you, not for what you wear or the pranks you do. And second of all, making mistakes. Yeah, it happens. I messed up big time. But guess what? I learned from it. I apologized to my friends and luckily she forgave me and we became friends again. Now here's what I want to share with every single one of you here today. Next time you're starting to feel that pull, that wanting to fit in. Remember, being you is the coolest thing ever. And real friends, they're the ones who stick by you even if you don't have the most followers on your gaming profile or the latest hair accessories. Now let's make our own kind of cool, a kind where everybody's invited, no pranks needed. Because trust me, the best group to be a part of is one where everybody can be themselves.